How's it going everybody? Today we're going to be taking a look at this UPS. For those that don't know, that stands for Uninterrupted Power Supply. The model is a Furman F1000 UPS. It belonged to a customer of mine. Uh, it was installed back in 2012, about four years ago. Uh, it went out recently and he was going to throw it out and I asked him if I could bring it home and take it apart and see if I could figure out what was wrong with it. Uh, there's no guarantees that I can fix this. I've never personally uh, repaired a UPS before, but succeed or fail, I figured we'd document this and go on this journey together. As you can see when I plug it up, all that it does is have this blinking red light um, where it shows wiring fault. I'm not sure exactly what's causing the issue. I'm probably going to look it up here while I do this video, but the first thing I'm going to do is just take the cover off and see if I can see anything that stands out or obvious. All right, I think I may have found the problem. Let me see if I can get to where y'all can see it. Upon taking the top cover off, which is a little bit more work than I thought, you ended up having to take the whole front cover off <laughs> to get to the screw that goes to the front here. Um, if you look on the side of these bigger capacitors, I'm trying to get it to where you can see it a little bit better. Um, uh, let's see here. Right. Ah, it's funny. Right there. If you look through here, you can see all this brown stuff. Uh, looks like kind of like an acid looking shit. Um, one of the capacitors is busted open at the bottom and leaked out on the board. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take all of these other connections apart around everything and take the board out and then we'll take a look at that. Well, here's a little bit closer look at what I was talking about that I noticed while it was still in the case and I got it out. I saw this black and yellow, I don't know if that's yellow, but like, it's kind of like a caramel color, honestly. Um, crusted stuff around it. Um, I actually don't see a penetration point or where anything busted yet, but um, there's, there's none of this on anything else on the board on any of the smaller capacitors or anything else. Um, I'm not sure. It honestly doesn't look like some kind of, any kind of glue or anything because there was no kind of pressure on it. Uh, I think what my next step's gonna be is I'm gonna unsolder these capacitors off and see if I have some sitting around anywhere and um, see if I can't replace them and see if that makes any kind of difference. Uh, I don't like the way those look anyway, so they probably need to be replaced regardless. Well, unfortunately it turns out that I don't have any 68 microfarad 250 volt capacitors anywhere. With it not being my piece of equipment, I really don't want to take the liberty of putting something that's not recommended spec in it. Uh, I guess this is going to be part one of this video and I will try to get my hands on some up to spec capacitors and we will look into that in part two. Uh, I don't think I really taught anybody anything like I thought I was in this one but maybe the follow-up video will have a little bit more uh, information that would be useful. Now, until then I'll see you guys later. Peace. 